Live from NBC North Dakota News, welcome to Country Morning Today with anchors Joel Porter, Courtney Cabot, and weather with Cliff Naylor. This is NBC North Dakota News, your news leader. And at the same time, this uh, snowy weather is starting to delay the flood fight in Fargo. City leaders say they had originally planned to start trucking sandbags to neighborhoods that needed the bags by today. However, that recent winter storm has put that on hold. They now plan to start depending on whenever, how much moisture drops, as well as they'll be watching for the next flood forecast from the National Weather Service. That report is expect to be issued, expected to be issued either on Friday or Saturday. When it comes to flood fighting, Fargo knows what it takes. And looking at the most recent flood forecast, it may take more than usual. Yvonne Mann shows us one of the latest methods the city is trying to keep floodwaters at bay. Trade in those little white sandbags for one of these. It's basically a big sandbag that, that's 100 feet long and has cells in it. Like an accordion, the trap bags are attached, and as they expand, they're entirely filled by a machine. So if you ever had a tear or something, you don't lose your wall because you got three other walls holding it together. Crews just need to use loaders to keep the sand going. The fact that it takes anywhere between seven to ten guys to do it versus hundreds of people. Now the key thing of it all is the efficiency of these trap bags. Now each of these cells are six by eight feet and can fill five tons of sand. Producers say that can do the job of more than 400 sandbags. You know people are getting tired of building sandbags so if they can get this done without lots of people it'd be a big deal. And with the spirit of Fargo stamped on them the city hopes trap bags will put up a fight like we all do.